Hi, welcome to Let's Play Math, where we play some games, learn some math, and have some fun. This is part two of our series on fractions. It's called Writing Fractions. Last time I showed you a game called Fractions Shoot, and you practiced spotting equal parts and identifying halves, thirds, and fourths. To play the next level, you'll need to know how to write fractions down. Don't worry, it's easy. If I have a sandwich and I split it into three equal parts, those are thirds. One piece is one third of my sandwich, or one of three equal parts, or one slash three, or one over three for short. These all mean exactly the same thing. So, what does three over four mean? It's just like one-third. The number on the top is how many pieces I have, three. And the number on the bottom is how many pieces there are altogether, four. I have three of four equal parts, three-fourths. You should know there's a special name for the number on the top of a fraction, the numerator, numerator. And the number on the bottom is the denominator, denominator. How can you keep them straight? Well, it's numerator over denominator, N-O-D, or nod for short. Just nod your head and you'll remember. Now you're ready for the advanced levels of fractions shoot at shepherdsoftware.com. I'm looking for two thirds. That means two of three equal parts. This shape has three parts and two of them are highlighted. That's the one. I click and score. Just remember, the more you practice, the easier it'll get. Now, just type Shep into your favorite search engine to find shepherdsoftware.com. Click on Math Games, then on Fractions, and then on Fractions Shoot and try it for yourself. We'll see you again next time for another episode of Let's Play Math.